Hey everyone, Russ Frostick here from Polygon. We're here at the Museum of the Moving Image in New York City to check out their latest video game exhibit, celebrating 50 years of Space War. Space War, besides being the first digital computer game, is also the first original game created for a computer. You know, I'm actually surprised how playable Space War is. Before I really spent some time on it, I had always really heard it was um, unplayable or very difficult to play, but I mean, it, as simple as it is, it's, it's really engaging and addictive. I mean, you know, gameplay is really fast, and then immediately you're back at the start screen again, you're playing another game. I've never played Space War myself, so this is going to be a big learning experience for me. I'm very excited. Do you think I can handle it? You think I think your ass is going to get kicked. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing you need to learn is acceleration, which is pulling this guy back. So... Okay, I'm moving. There you go. So now you'll avoid that. Oh, that good. Okay. Yeah. So then this turns you clockwise and kind of clockwise. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. So, oh, and I... Oh, and we're about to... Oh, that's bad. Almost crashed. Okay, we're good. And then the, then the last thing you know that's is... important. The fire. Shoot, yeah. Shoot button. Yeah. Okay, so um, that's me shoot. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, this is bad. Oh! Suck it. Me. <laughs> well done. Most video game exhibits that have existed up until this point exist to say, look, it's video games in a museum. Isn't that wonderful? Or isn't that interesting? We're beyond that. Now the idea is to advance the field, to not have an exhibition that is the equivalent of saying, it's painting. One of the things we really focus on in the exhibition is the role of shooting as a core activity of the play experience of video games. And so in some ways things haven't changed. We're still doing the same kind of activity of navigating a space, trying to shoot our enemy while avoiding being shot. But one of the other things you'll notice in the exhibition is all the incredibly different ways and nuanced ways that games take advantage of shooting. Well, I can, t I can tell you that I'm super jazzed about Galaxy Force 2 for, for a number of reasons. I mean, first, it's, it's quite the spectacle to participate in. So the joystick functions as you would expect. You have two triggers. The one at the finger is sort of a standard linear. And then the one on the top is a heat seeking. So once you see these guys with white circles around them, fire that and it will hit them. Man, I can't believe this is done in sprites. I can't. It's crazy, right? There's like just this max out hardware in that game where literally the, 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 the computer is just trying to like layer all these sprites on top of each other to create the 3D space. It's a really, it's a really cool game. I think you're supposed to tell me to not get cocky now. <laughs> I have no idea how to play Yara's Revenge. Oh my god. Oh, see, Yara got me. How is this not a giant success? It's so convenient to play. So how do you how do you see, you know, a game like Space War? Where do you see the connection between that and a game like Portal? Portal is known for sort of taking real world physics and adding one twist and something that changes the whole entire way that you play in the space. And I, th I think that there's a, a direct line to the physics of, of Space War, of, of rotating around that, the black hole um, and having to figure out how to navigate yourself inside of that. So we just walked through about 50 years of the history of video games and it all hasn't changed that much. We're still, you know, trying to shoot the other guy. We're still trying to dodge bullets. And uh, it's kind of cool to see all this coming full circle.